you know, I was so scared of being called crazy <laughs> and I was so scared that this was all in my head the whole time. And I think when I got the diagnosis, that was such a relief because it was finally, you know, proof that I wasn't making this all up. Hi, my name is Belle and I was diagnosed with a condition called fibromyalgia in 2017. Um, so fibromyalgia is a misunderstood condition. I didn't know what it was until I was told that I had it. It's thought to be caused by the brain not being able to process pain signals correctly. I was a junior in high school because I was a junior and that's when you take your SATs. I think I was taking five AP classes. I, you know, thought it was just stress and that's what my parents said when I came to them saying, hey, I have all this body pain, I don't know what this is. The way that manifests for me is I get a lot of um, random stabs of pain in different um, pressure points in my body, um, like my shoulders, my limbs, my fingers, um, and I'll get full body kind of aches as well. Um, and sometimes I'll wake up feeling so fatigued after you know sleeping for a normal amount of time. So I went on Zoloft, which was awful. <laughs> it made me. It didn't help me at all. It actually made me more anxious. I was dating somebody who suggested that the Zoloft wasn't working for me. I hadn't seen my doctor in um, maybe six months, and I think at this point he was like, wow, this has been going on a really long time. And so he tested my tender points, which are just kind of parts of your body that are sensitive, usually if you have fibromyalgia. And he told me that he had suspected it, but he hadn't wanted to tell me because, you know, he wasn't sure since I was so young. And fibromyalgia is usually um, diagnosed in middle-aged um, people, particularly women. I live with this condition daily. Um, I take a medication for it, um, Cymbalta, and that really helps. I also try to um, kind of stay away from sugar and processed foods and try to just live a healthy lifestyle. So I'm all set and ready for work now. Um, I have eaten breakfast, I had avocado toast, which is really good. And now I'm going to take my 50 milligram duloxetine. I take it every day. Always with water. And there you have it. And look at my cat. So it is 7.53 and I am about to leave for work. I am extremely tired. Um, a little achy um, in my finger joints, but um, hopefully um, it'll go away um, by the time I get to work. Um, I definitely need a coffee, um, but I'm excited for the day, and it's a beautiful day out, so that's nice. You know, a lot of times if I'm in a social setting and I'm in pain in some way, I usually do kind of excuse myself, and my friends kind of understand that. Um, kind of without me saying. I don't necessarily think it interferes with that. I think it's just kind of something that my closer friends know that I have. And if I turn to them and say like, hey, I'm in pain right now, I'm tired. I just want to go and read or watch TV and just kind of recuperate, like they get that. So I just got back from work. This is my roommate, Emily. Hi. And we are watching Halloween Town. Ooh, Halloween Town 3. Obviously. Um, I didn't have a lot of pain today, which is great, but definitely um, tired and excited to wind down. And yeah, that's about it. A lot of the condition is managing my stress and anxiety um, because a lot of researchers think that fibromyalgia is tied to that. So I've noticed that if I'm a little more stressed, that'll usually result in um, more pain. But there is no, um, you know, cure for fibromyalgia. It is something that, you know, I constantly carry with me and I try to, you know, manage it as best I can alongside my kind of busy schedule. Um, but I live in New York, I'm in Central Park right now, um, and I'm feeling pretty stress-free and pain-free right now, which is really good. I think for a lot of women, in terms of health and especially mental health, you don't know how to advocate for yourself a lot of the time. That's just kind of how it is nowadays. So I think I would tell other women and especially younger women to trust your intuition.